Welcome back to The Manor. If this is a series you enjoy and you're one of the people who are always asking me when the next video is coming out, please you know, just leave a little comment down below, leave a like on the video, it'll help it in the algorithm. I greatly appreciate it. But for anyone who might just be stumbling in, Milf Manor is a reality dating show in which the dating pool is comprised of a series of mothers and their sons. Yes, there were so many ways you could have tackled that premise, but they went for the worst one. So if you want to catch up on the previous installments, I got a little playlist set up right now for it, but where we left off last time was on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Two members of the manor were sent home for being too boring, essentially, April and Ricky. And their departure made way for two new guests, and I hinted that one of them might have been a little bit of a celebrity. And that celebrity is Lisa Wilcox and her son, Ryan Sherman. I'm thinking, if I'm wearing a bikini and she's wearing a moomoo. <laughs> No competition. <laughs> Disco mommy, please play nice. So I actually expected them to do a little spiel on who Lisa is, but they really don't. Like it is mentioned that she was an actress in the 80s and the 90s, but they don't say what for. But Scream Queens and horror bros alike may recognize her as Alice from A Nightmare on Elm Street 4 and 5. So, you know, not necessarily the strongest installments, but she is the lead character in both those movies and is well loved by the dedicated fan base. And I was really hoping that they were gonna use that for some kind of fun themed episode, but no. Like there's certainly some horror, but definitely not the kind that I want to experience. But let's meet our new couple, I mean contestants. I came on this retreat to really spend some quality time with my son. Wait, you came on this dating retreat for quality time with your son? Also, retreat is such a weird word choice for this. It makes me think that Jared Leto is gonna pop out in his like Jesus robes and offer people some kind of special tea. And to break the age and barrier. And the purpose age for is you is to number. get to know them. Okay there, Billy Joe No Strong. Let's not play so fast and loose with that turn of phrase. Otherwise, we have to start tossing out and jail is just a place. Obviously, that is not actually an issue here. Everyone is of age, but with maturity level, levels this mismatched, um, age is not in fact just a number. And while they are aware that they're both here to date, they both seem shocked that the dating pool is comprised of other moms and sons, which I don't know why that would shock you considering you're here as a mom and son. Did you think there was just gonna be like 50 people in this house? I thought it was gonna be other people other guys. Either way, they are about to get thrust into the drama and I kind of just assume that this is someone new to fight over Jose. And this is a grapefruit, correct? Yes. yes. Oh, I love grapefruit. Because yeah. it's so sour. Oh, ma'am. I have no game and I still have more game than that. She's out here like, ooh, a grapefruit, so sour. Good thing you're here to sweeten things up. To balance the sweetness. You look like you're very sweet. Oh my god, I was joking, but Jose actually went there. Yeah, he's adorable. I need to make sure that there's not too much FaceTime with the new girl. Ooh, I forgot that Shannon was hunting Jose too. We have a little bit of a competition going on here. I Honestly though, who isn't hunting Jose? I think Stephanie even had the chance and was all like, God is already keeping me so busy with these other men. And I know so young is definitely after him. He's got like height and eyes and all the style that I've been looking for. And I get it, he is handsome, he seems kind, he's one of the older sons but has like less of that fuckboy energy than Ryan, which I actually think might make him the sleeper heartbreaker in this show. Older men have an insecurity about them, so they needed more like coddling, you know, like being a mom to them. Well, ma'am, tragically ending up on a dating show where most of the romantic options have the maturity level of a toddler is probably not gonna solve that problem. But that brings us to new Ryan, who is apparently a software engineer and Stephanie is into it. I'm a software engineer. Okay. I usually date professionals. It's great to hear that Ryan actually has an amazing career. Ma'am, you are already juggling two dudes and one of them is already a Ryan, who is unimpressed. I think Stephanie needs the attention. I think it's her dream dream to have like men fight over her. <laughs> Honestly, that seems accurate. She literally flirts up a storm with new Ryan and then saunters right over to Gabriel to let him know that Ryan asked her out on a date. That's annoying. That's annoying. You call your like, up or something. <laughs> I don't understand how anyone over the age of 16 is into this. I do really love the full range of maturity we get while watching this. Old Ryan's at least starting to catch on that he probably needs to move on and Gabriel's just playing catch up. At this point, I would say Stephanie and I's connection is the strongest it's been. My guy, 
she was just flirting up a storm with new Ryan. She was like grabbing his necklace and like touching his, like flirting, flirting. She does like me and I like her. That's unbreakable. Oh, oh no. I feel like the dude has to be trolling at this point. Like it has to be a joke. There is no way he thinks their connection is unbreakable. Do you still love me? When the fuck do we start tossing around the L word? Who is this woman? It seems like Stephanie and Gabriel really have a uh, connection there. I'm not gonna put my eggs in that basket. Well, at least someone here is smart. That's right, new Ryan, you steer off to better pastures. But it's challenge time. What depravity will they bring upon us this week? If anyone knows about sex, it's us ladies. <laughs> Age, wisdom, and experience. We are giving you the opportunity to share that carnal knowledge with your son. No. Oh. Head inside. It's time to teach these young guys a lesson. <laughs> a lesson. Oh my God, I'm Joey. I'm Joey. I'm Joey right now. Actually, just, just one second. Ugh. Off a cliff, all of it. God, at least most of the people here seem equally disturbed by this. Ryan and I have a very open relationship, but there are boundaries. Thank you, Shannon. But apparently there's not, because we walk into this room and they say it's for education. Like we got some diagrams that I can't even show in this video, because even though they're technically educational, there's also just lots of phallic and lady bit looking fruits, just some flat out toys. They know exactly what they're doing and it's not educational. Do you ever have the birds and the bees talk? How'd we never had a birds and the bees talk. How'd you know Bruh. all that? With the internet nowadays, and my friends, no, come on, how did you figure it out? <laughs> All right, stop it. No, 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 did Disco Mommy just tell her son she squirtles? No! Joey, don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Joey, don't ask questions that I don't want the answers to. Though again, Joey's answer is really just painting my picture of him, of, you know, his mom asking him how he knows about certain things, and he's just like, my friends and the internet? <laughs> So adorable. Now, thankfully, as mentioned, this does seem to be where we've hit most people's limits. Uh, it only took five episodes. Stephanie is, of course, very against having parental sex life shared and discussed with their children. I rather just go to God with all those crazy thoughts. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm sure God doesn't want to hear about those thoughts either. You make it sound like you're out here reading sex fantasies to God. Again, educationally, very important to have solid discussions with your children if your school's not gonna do it about safety and all that. But that's clearly not what they're going for. They know what they're doing and so does Kelly because she ends up picking Jose strategically to ask questions to so she can find out if he can please her. What really turns a woman on the most? Come on. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. I'm trying to look at his mouth. At first I thought he was saying like the C word, but not not the not the not the Australian one, the other one. But I can't tell if that's what his mouth is doing, but it's like I'm gonna say it's that, which but then he starts just assaulting it with with phallic sh I can't I can't show it but he just starts like stabbing at the diagram but also at this point you're showing all these diagrams you are you've got toys out on the table and you can't let people say words I'm wondering maybe if he does need to be schooled in this area it's like, I know that there's so many women like fighting over Jose, but like now he's kind of like putting it out there that he might have no idea what he's doing with a woman's body. Imagine getting in the bedroom to that. Imagine getting into the bedroom to that, Charlene. She's simultaneously just like so encouraging and sex positive, but then like so aggressive that it's like a hound dog. And the second that something's not like going, it's just like next. Next. Honestly, it's pretty clear what she needs and wants, and I, I just don't think this was the place to find it. Like, at least the other women were a little bit more kind with their shade. Jose might be a little clueless. Uh, but then Charlene gets up there and asks her own son, Harrison, up to answer the question. I would like my son to answer. How'd you pick me? Harrison, I've heard things. He's got the goods. 
It's my job to make sure he knows what to do with it. Ma'am, why would you go anywhere near your son during this? Where is the labia? At least he got the actual sex ed question. But then a huge amount of my faith died with what Harrison would go on to say. All you need to know is where to put it. You don't need to know all the, the part names and get down there with a microscope. I am just so genuinely apologetic to any woman who encounters this man in their life because he has no emotional maturity and apparently no sexual maturity. It don't seem like he's gonna be giving you much of anything. And while I've been mildly horrified by Charlene's Passion, new Ryan seems to be quite into it. This is so important because the bedroom, everything leads to the bedroom and we need to please each other. Long live the penis, guys, long live the penis. She really cares about people having, you know, pleasure in the bedroom. Honestly, it makes me more interested to get to know her. So he wants to show off his knowledge, which works out real well when they ask him to show off his foreplay skills. I'm a big fan <laughs> of oral, so I'm gonna bring in an orange, delicious kind of fruit. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Now, fortunately, Charlene's head was right in the way. Charlene's face! Charlene's face! Oh my god, her face! <laughs> Charlene is so turned on, she might just like yeah. take him on the well, table right now. Well, that just You know, you know it's bad when Disco Mommy is throwing shade at you being horny. Okay, that's just gonna swing us right into So Young's turn. I picked Jimmy. Okay. No, ma'am, let the dust settle on your relationship before you bring your son into some like weird sex questions. I'm like, all right. Hmm? Finishing on Wait, wait. Alright. Did did someone, I assume Harrison, just say me so horny in the background with the fake accent? Did someone just pull a Michael Scott, but unironically? I'm like, all right. Me so horny. No, why wouldn't they do that? Why wouldn't they have completely muted? Like, they definitely muffled whoever's microphone it was. I'm pretty sure it was Harrison's again. But all of the other microphones in the room still got it, and I'm pretty sure that's what Jose reacted to. I don't even know. There's literally no time to even dwell there because of the question we end up getting. Finishing on a woman's face, do they find it sexy? Aim for the, you know, I the breast. No! No! Do women like that? I, and yeah, I think they, they don't mind at all. Okay, okay, so young, okay, we get it. So young, you're a freak. And if you're someone out there who likes that, that's fine. You're, you're not a freak. I'm just, I'm just saying, I feel like that is a very, subjective thing and also whoever came up with that question for this scenario it needs to be locked up because again it's not even a good question that would have to be so subjective like i'm sure some people are super into it with the right partner and other people would probably puke and that question was enough for stephanie to just leave and look i'm not team stephanie here but uh, i definitely get why she's bailing it's a natural thing that everyone does like it's not taboo in my house yeah kelly all of this stuff is natural you're all adults but it doesn't mean you have to be talking about blowing loads in people's faces with your sons. <laughs> We're definitely getting demonetized. I'm enlightened from this class. I learned a lot. Yeah, I bet you did, you little angel. <laughs> oh, Joey. Orgasm three times during this class. Y'all didn't even know. I, I don't. Was it, was it when your mom was talking about, you know, enjoying... You know what, we're just not gonna go down that road. But it's time to circle back to the Ryan, Gabriel, and Stephanie drama. Which is honestly getting pretty damn old at this point. If this was The Bachelorette, someone would have been sent home by now. But I feel like everyone in this scenario is messing up. This is a dating show where the intention is to test the water with a lot of the different contestants, which is something Ryan has done, but when he set his sights on Stephanie, he assumed that she'd end up focusing exclusively on him too. But she is absolutely instigating it by telling Ryan that Gabriel's just a friend while Gabriel believes that they have this super tight connection. And while Gabriel's calling Ryan controlling, he's basically the same way. What's happening? So you went on a date with Harrison. Yeah. Oh. Again, so much insecurity around the board here, but I'm definitely thinking that Ryan is right by describing Stephanie as someone who really enjoys the attention. I have no idea why Ryan thinks that I'm giving anyone mixed signals. Uh, you know, because you are and you told him specifically that you just saw Gabriel as a friend? God doesn't like liars. Why is Gabriel asking me about the bet that we made yesterday? He overheard. I was telling Billy. Ooh, 
is she lying again? Look, I get trying to spare feelings and telling little white lies and stuff, but obviously this is gonna get pushed to a head. Like we've established like a friendship. That's all it's been. Have you told Gabriel that he you knows. feel like he's just a friend? How does he, he know? Knows. He knows. Um, ma'am, um, I don't, I don't think he knows? He knows! Does she actually think that Gabriel thinks they're just friends? Oh, Stephanie, Jesus isn't happy with you. Like, I don't necessarily agree with Shannon getting involved in this situation, like let your son deal with things, but I uh, do appreciate her at least calling out bullshit where she's seeing bullshit. No, you're lying. Stop, straight fiction. Man, I feel like Ryan just always has a lock on those sound bites. So snappy. And of course she just like immediately scuttles off to start telling Gabriel about it. Like, look, I get it. Sometimes it's nice to relive your childhood. I've been going back through some Pokemon games, you know, um, but uh, maybe you should just leave the high school drama in high school. Today's the day that I'm gonna make Jose to be my man. <laughs> I know that we're not team so young because of some things that happened in the second episode, but- Does it look like I knew that? I just love the way that so young words everything. Um, I also find it very interesting that I think Jose has been asked on two dates now by other women and they get like really nice dates. Like Kelly took him out to this like landmark rock mushroom thing that he really wanted to see. So Young's taking him to see whale sharks. Everyone else is out here eating bugs and snorkeling. So I bet they're gonna have a ton of fun and uh, Shannon's a little bit, she's coping a little bit. When it gets down to love, he and I have some really deeper connections. I do just have just one life and I want to make the most of it. Nadie te quita lo bailado. It's basically that nobody takes your experience from you. And so I'm not really worried about anybody else because I know that our conversations and our connection is special. Ooh, uh, sure, Jan. Um, I don't know why that sounds a little bit like coping. Man, is Jose actually just like really heavily playing the field here to the point that like everyone feels like there's special little angels with him? I'm not denying that they have really good and deep conversations, but... There's gonna be a lot of heartbreaks between Jose and his woman. So who knows what that's gonna bring? Like, Jose seems to be really into So Young, but Paula likes Shannon for him, and we all know that Paula must account for at least 50% of that decision-making, or most of his decisions, so we'll just see how that ends up shaking through. Maybe you're not clear that it's not her, it's just everything that you did with her. I wouldn't think he would get a connection with So Young. But it's time for a 90s dance party where they clearly didn't have the rights to let us hear the actual 90s music, but uh, I, this is the most we get out of that. I think I was negative 10 years old in the 90s. I was still like a, a sperm just sitting in the eggs. <laughs> Look at Joey, man. Joey out here like, see, I know sex things too. So nothing really happens here, but it really just fuels Ryan on to confront Stephanie some more. I feel like you spun me and Gabriel two separate stories. What is I the problem here? It. So I believe that this is building into Gabriel realizing that he's kind of had the wool pull over his eyes with Stephanie. I like Stephanie. Like, don't talk to my girl like that. Or not, I guess. We don't even know if it's romantic yet or something. We're just vibing. Wait, so like, does he know that they're just friendly? Like, he's out here talking about their super deep connection and unbreakable bond. Now he's like, I'm not sure if it's rom- What is- What is happening? Like, he's out here saying it's not romantic, but then also don't talk to my girl like that. Like, I th is Gabriel playing a character that he has lost track of now? I think your feelings are hurt because she doesn't like you. Then why is she kissing me on the beach telling me that she doesn't f with you and f me? Like his face when he drops that, like Gabriel still ends up leaving with Stephanie because I don't think anybody's on the same page on what's going on here, but damn. Look, I'm not saying that Ryan is being perfect here. He's absolutely not. He, he's kind of acting like a baby. He should have just walked away from the situation by now. I don't know why he hasn't. I don't know if the producers are like prodding and be like, you should be upset about that, man. You should talk, you should bring that up, man. And then like, obviously Gabriel thinks he's mature, but he's out here threatening to like beat people up. But yeah, Stephanie is absolutely being a fucking liar here. But yeah, I think that pretty much does it for next week's episode, but uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna let that preview ride just to see what next week might bring. Seriously. Yes. 
Oh, perfect pressure. No, 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 it's blindfolded massages. Oh. I think I'm massaging my mom's back. That's it right there, baby. I kind of want to throw up a little bit. Oh, me too, me too. Oh God, okay, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. Though I just paused and it, I think that Charlene is talking to Jimmy. So maybe they're on a date and honestly, That'll probably work out. But yeah, that is gonna do it for this installment of Amanda Ruins Her Brain with Milf Manor. And I hope it was worth it for your entertainment. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. I uh, don't, I, my, oh my God, my brain is actually a mush. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks as always to my Patreon supporters and YouTube channel members. I'm sure that your wildly generous contributions will come wildly in handy uh, with this demonetized video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave a like on the video if you're into that kind of thing. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm mostly okay and we'll catch you all later. It's the beauty of always being mostly okay. Things can only get you so bad.